Is this the biggest project you've worked on while being in South Coast Student Media? I would say definitely it has been one of the bigger projects. We did a project last year at the El Pueblo History Museum for Earth Day, and I think that was probably this and the, this one and that one. It's kind of hand in hand tied for the biggest. So how important do you think it is for the media department to come out to events like these and build a relationship with the community? I think it's really important that we put community first because those are the stories that we are telling through the media department, whether it's all of the stories about these different artists or small families, even that we cover stories on, they're all community based. So I think that is the most important thing that we should be focusing on. And how long has the department been preparing for this? I would say, well, we've had it on our radar since the beginning of the semester. I think we've been actually prepping for it for the past month or so, like officially, at least the parts that I've been a part of. I know Brock's class has been prepping for this for like uh, the whole semester. And then what parts of the event are you going to be covering um, with your students? I know you're all multimedia, so is it going to be someone working on journalism, someone care. working on video, someone working on audio? Yeah, so we'll have some journalists from the Today Out tonight, and the part that I'm most a part of is the radio side. We'll be out for from 5 to 9 live on the Revolution 89.5 KTSE. Hello. <laughs> um, running, uh, running what your day is going to look like for both of these days. Uh, so tonight, well, we're starting set up the crews there now. It's 2.30, so they got there at 2 to start packing up. And then we'll get down here probably 3.30, get our badges, get everything set up live by 5 o'clock. And then we'll be live from 5 to 9, um, both nights, so. And then we know that there's a lot of issues that always come across media, whether it be technology, um, going out on new people, going in places they shouldn't be going or anything mm -hmm. like that. What are some of the challenges that you're going to have to face? Um, I mean, normal challenges like always, power is always like the number one issue. Where are we going to get it from? How long of extension cables do we need to run for the production? I don't know. Usually we take it as it goes. Not too much, I would say. So your program discusses a lot on multimedia. Um, do you think that's going to be a big disadvantage in terms of being heavily specialized coming out of school or not feeling like you're specialized at all? I would say I'm pretty well balanced around all aspects that we learn in the media and entertainment department at CSU Pueblo. I know mostly the audio and the video side, but I would say I also have experience doing journalism just by just by doing productions even. I learn from just witnessing the journalists in front of me ask, asking the questions and even the people who are interviewees, I can take what how I wish that they would change their answers to depend how I could ch ask questions. So I think it's, I think it's better to be well balanced everywhere so that maybe you could find like a niche that includes both or all of the aspects that you've learned. So. And then how do you balance delegating responsibilities as a student, but also working with faculty? I would say personally, I like for at least the faculty to have all of like the professional side of it. I like to mostly focus on production. I know there's a lot of students who like to focus on the management part, so maybe that's a good opportunity for them to step into more of a managerial role. But I think just delegating, okay, who's going to contact the people that we're doing the production with, who's going to like get the call sheet together, who's going to assign roles. I think I think that is a good way to delegate between faculty and students. The students should be the ones doing it. The faculty should be there to like support and get it rolling, I think, essentially. So you're in your junior year. Yep. And you're going to be, are you looking to be in the same type of a leadership position next year? Um, I would expect to, yeah, definitely. I'll probably take on a little bit of a large role just because it will be my last year. Want to, you know, get those things on my resume and my CV. So <laughs> just want to do as much as I can. And I think really leadership is the best way to do that. So so if you were in a position next year where you are in the leadership position, uh, you've got one year left. What are some of the essentials that you want to get on your list of products that will be going out? I don't know, I want to get a few more multicam video productions under my belt, I think. 
and a few more live music, live mixing opportunities. I think like those two are like always the ones that I'm looking forward to doing most. So, um, what would you say to any student who'd be wanting to come out and or a potential student who'd be wanting to join this media department and showing them something like as grandiose as this? I think I would just tell them to like come out and experience it, even if you're not doing it, or even if you're not doing like one of the main roles, most of what you can do is shadow and shadowing somebody just like learning by just watching them and then like them messing up and then like them working through their work uh, thought processes of how they go to fix it. I think just like experiencing that once, twice, three times up until the point where you feel comfortable doing it, I feel that's just like the best way for anybody to get get in the door at least.